Ali I hope to good Ilao Gavin Ublumi Gadim Nonia Katin Angajukti Luta. We are really happy that you have joined us today. May God bless you as we worship together. Atugiti Alionoktumik Artanegmun Inuit Tamang Mitiak Ila Angadio Vigi Luchiok Artanek Kovianaktumik Opagiag Lugo Shout with joy to the Lord all the earth. Worship the Lord with gladness. Come before him singing with joy. Who breaks the power of sin and darkness? Whose love is mighty and so much stronger? The King of glory. The King above all kings Who shakes the whole earth With holy thunder Who leaves us breathless In awe and wonder The King of glory The King above all kings This is amazing grace This is unfailing love that you would take my place That you would bear my cross You would lay down your life That I would be set free Jesus, I sing for all that you've done for me Kulani 3 Katangu titka gadim o kauhingita titigak himayun pitko yaktigut uvagut. Wanukhivut ilitugi kublugit 
ukaglo gitlo gadim ayokhaitum angu tipta kilang mitum hangani taja khana khoti vot ila ia tahimat kunagit nani aglo git oma tip tingin anangi yakhimaitumik kapya hok to miglo khana khoti tingin to mainin ihu magioni agvigi yauko bluta gadim nagoninga gon nagligi guta gudlo Talva ovanga o kauti gipfi katimela rapta hamani tamapta oma tiptigon na goyumik ni piptigon ananga yakhimaitumik atangom kilangmitum ikivau tapanga opaglugo godmon okagluta tamapta angu tikput ayo khaitutin Nagligi tak to titlo, over god ap kutingin, hangwe na pak to god im naiton, olum nao himayutun. Malit pa lak kuta, pit ko hip tingnik, puyuma yap tingniklo, puigwing na khogit, pit ko ting na goyum. Ahin, over god, pigi a fak tap tingnik, pingit to god, Pigi a hanging nap ting nigli, pigalo up to good na go yo make, pig hanging nap ta o ma tip ting ni. Il vidli artinek naglik ti good, wanekik to hook ta, an outed look it, o god ta maita happy a hook pata, hang ni o hagi out ti big up kin, in wit Jesus Christ ti con artinet ti good. Ika yukti gud, angu tik put, Jesus biblugo, uvo gud, tal vangani. Inu higit kubluta, ilu mok tumik, na goyo miglo, atkin alio noktuk, biblugo. O God, inuit, anauti vigapkin, Jesus Christ him uvo gud, kwaneke vagapta ilvin. Ihu magiyog vigi luta, Echa yukti god, O God, na go valiala kubluta ino hip tingni, tal vanganin, Jesus biblugo, apa kigiptigin, Amen. A tangum kan gauta. Angu tikput, ki lang mi tutin, atkin na go giyali, atangovin kaili, ihu matin taimaliud lit, Nuna me kilang me tutun, o glume nakihap tingnik ay talk to God. When I could tip tingnik, ihu maguni a glutin. Uva got talk, ihu ma lok tigi huigap tigin, when I could hear your word. O talk tau negmon, he would lak tai luta, tu pilag min an au tip to God. Ilvin piu tigi gap kin, Atangovik hakoging nak kama neglo nunga lightumon taimonga. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Ublakut unatay gong nektaka Mark unipkanga versing a ten nakata ten versing a forty six Jesus him na kuhip kakta takpitok Bartimaeus. Tikit to Jericho mut, Jesus malagutin nilo, aw lagay akaktid lugit iglok pakakuving mit. Inuit amihut maling nilaktut. Takpitok iliakayuk Bartimaeus, ang niya Timaeus him. Ikhivayok apkotim hanirani, Bartimaeus tuha kami Jesus, Nazareth Mutak Kagliok 
Tukulauktuk. Jesus, David Mengnia, Nagliginga, Nipairit, Amihut Inuit Tukulayat. Nipikok to Huyum Mihuni, Tukulauktuk. David Mengnia, Nagliginga, Jesus him to Haramuk, Nutkaktuk, Okalahuni, Kaili Gok. Kait kuwa takpitok. Aliyat takit, kait kung matit. Bartimaeus magitok, atigay kuni, Jesus mong ngawyok. Huli kuwing nga inungnut, ilingnut, Jesus im apiriya. Ilihaw di, takpito o kalagtok. Daw duktali kumalagto nga, Jesus in Mokautia. Our Laret, Upera Hungi good, Nago hip cartat it. That Jainak, that be dog, that be here. Malila Huni, Jesus me, Telvagad Mokautia. Mark's Gospel, Chapter Ten, beginning to read at verse forty six. Then they reached Jericho, and as Jesus and his disciples left town, a large crowd followed him. A blind beggar named Bartimaeus, son of Timaeus, was sitting beside the road. When Bartimaeus heard that Jesus of Nazareth was nearby, he began to shout, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Be quiet, many of the people yelled at him. But he only shouted louder. Son of David, have mercy on me. When Jesus heard him, he stopped and said, Tell him to come here. So they called the blind man. Cheer up, they said. Come on, he's calling you. Bartimaeus threw aside his coat, jumped up and came to Jesus. What do you want me to do for you? Jesus asked. My rabbi. The blind man said, I want to see. And Jesus said to him, Go, for your faith has healed you. Instantly, the man could see, and he followed Jesus down the road. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. I know that we say this every week, but once again, it's a joy to be with you. How we long to be with you in person. But as we know, because of COVID, that isn't possible at this time. However, we do pray for you every day. Pray that you know the joy and the presence of the Lord Jesus with you. Lord Jesus, thank you so much that we can gather through this online service to worship you. We know that there are Christians all over this country and in many parts of the world who are only able to worship through online services because of COVID-19. And yet, Lord, we just praise you and thank you for the gift of technology that enables this to happen. And so may our hearts be uh, warmed, our minds enriched as we worship you this morning and as we learn through your word. In your wonderful name we pray, Lord Jesus. Amen. Those dark places. We're going to be thinking this morning from Mark's Gospel, chapter 10, verse 46 and 52, which Millie read in Inuin Natun and Roslyn read in English. As we all know, the long, dark days of winter are slowly coming to an end, even though there are still many weeks of the winter to go through. When Rosalind and I lived in the north for many, many years, we were always pleased to see the sun again even for just a few moments when a small part of the sun would appear on the horizon and then disappear almost as quickly as it appeared. But each day when the sky was clear, the sun would begin, you could see the sun beginning to become more and more visible above the horizon. And as the sun became larger and as the sun became brighter, Eventually, there would be a feeling of warmth 
coming from the rays of the sun. And how pleased we all were to know that spring was on its way again. A few days ago, I was thinking about the long days of the Arctic winter and the story of Bartimaeus, the blind man who came to Jesus. I love this story and there is much that we can learn from it. As we know from this story, the man had lived in total darkness for the whole of his life. He was unable to see his family and his friends or the many people who would pass him by every day as he grew up being cared for by his family. But eventually he had to become dependent on other people, dependent upon people guiding him through the, very, the, the busy streets of Jericho, dependent upon people for the basic necessities of his everyday life. As you can imagine, his life certainly wasn't easy. In fact, his life would have been very difficult at the time in which he lived. No social services, no medical services such as we have today to help him. Always being dependent on other people in an environment, in a world, in a community that is so different from what we know today. I want you to just close your eyes just for a moment and imagine what it would be like to live in a world of total darkness. Now we know that there are many people who are born blind and that they, they never see. I remember when we were in Uganda meeting a young man who had been blind from birth and he was a minister, he was a preacher of the gospel. His faith was alive and vibrant. He couldn't see family or friends, but he had the joy and the love of the Lord Jesus in his life. He could say that the joy of the Lord is the strength of my life. But unfortunately, there are other kinds of darkness that affect people today. The darkness of loneliness, the darkness of fear, the darkness of worry and anxiety which can and sometimes do overwhelm us, especially through those long, lonely nights when it's difficult to sleep. You know that feeling of when your mind goes round and round and round and we wonder, will the light ever come to break up the darkness in my life? You wake up in the morning hoping, just hoping that this new day will be free from the fear, the dread, the worry and the anxiety, the loneliness of the past night and the other many past nights of restlessness. When all the problems, all the fear, all the worry and all the anxiety that you have just seems to be so much worse in the darkness of the night. And sometimes you may say to yourself, what can I do? To whom can I turn for freedom, for peace? A breaking up of the darkness that is hanging over me like a big dark cloud. And so what can we learn from this wonderful story of Bartimaeus in Mark's Gospel, chapter 10, verses 46 to 52? The day would begin like any other day for Bartimaeus, a dark world of being dependent upon people, a day sat by the roadside begging, asking people for money. As people passed by, he would be thankful as people would perhaps give him some loose change that they had. This particular day for Bartimaeus started out just as every other day did, sat by the roadside, dusty, feeling dirty, and perhaps feeling at times so unloved. He couldn't see. He was totally blind. 
But something remarkable, something wonderful was going to happen. It was to be a day like no other day that he had experienced in his life. Bartimaeus was going to experience a whole change in his life. Bartimaeus had heard, obviously, something about Jesus. He knew who Jesus was, and Jesus was passing by. There'd be many people, many, many people following Jesus on the Jericho Road as Jesus was journeying to Jerusalem, where he was going to face, face uh, imprisonment, torture and death on the cross for each one of us. Bartimaeus knew something about Jesus. And in verse 47, we read, he began to shout, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Jesus, the son of David, please, please help me. This was a cry for help from Jesus. Jesus who was preaching, Jesus who was teaching, Jesus who was healing the sick, Jesus who was reaching out to the lost and lonely. Just as Jesus is reaching out to people today, wherever they are, whatever their circumstances or situation might be, however dark their lives may be, However spiritually blind they may be, Jesus is reaching out. But as Bartimaeus cried out to Jesus, some of the people in the crowd told him to be quiet. Be quiet, be quiet. But in verse 47 and verse 48, we see the determination the great determination of, of Bartimaeus. He wasn't going to let this opportunity pass him by. He was close to Jesus. He was close to Jesus and he wasn't going to allow the crowds telling him to be quiet to stop him from shouting out to Jesus, Jesus, please help me. He got close to Jesus and he made a simple request. Jesus, please help me. And then what a change. What a change we see in the crowd when Jesus said in verse 49, tell him to come here. Tell him to come to me. All of these people. And Jesus said, tell him to come to me. What a wonderful encounter this was to be. And Bartimaeus responded quickly. I can almost feel the enthusiasm, the anticipation building up in his life. This is my opportunity for something remarkable to happen in my life. And Bartimaeus came to Jesus. There was no pressure to come, but that quiet, loving, caring, gentle voice of Jesus responding to a man in great need. And then in verse 51 we read that Jesus asked him a simple question. What do you want me to do for you? What do you want me to do for you? Well, we know that Bartimaeus wanted to see Jesus wanted him to express what was really on his heart and in his mind. I want to see. Bartimaeus is like so many people today. They wander through life, dependent on people. Bartimaeus was physically blind. Many people are spiritually blind. They're wondering, who can help me? Who will love me? Who will speak to me of a new way of life? Bartimaeus had enough faith to believe that Jesus could heal him. In verse 52, Jesus said to him, go, 
for your faith has healed you. We don't know anything about Bartimaeus's family. We don't know how often he attended the Jewish synagogue, the Jewish church. But he had heard about Jesus. And even though he had probably never encountered Jesus before, he knew who Jesus was. And he believed in his heart and in his mind that Jesus was the one who could restore his physical sight. Go your way, for your faith has healed you. You don't have to have great faith, but faith, as the Bible tells us, as small as a grain of mustard seed. One of the smallest of seeds that we have. Bartimaeus, he believed and he had faith that Jesus could heal him. And what happened? His eyes were opened and the first person he would see would be Jesus in front of him. Oh, this warms my heart. It puts a smile on my face. I can just imagine how Bartimaeus felt the first time in his life. He saw the sky. He would see the sun. But most importantly, he saw the Lord Jesus, the saviour of the world, before him. And what did Bartimaeus do? Bartimaeus, he immediately began to follow Jesus. The blindness was gone. A new way of life was opened before Bartimaeus. Why? All because he trusted Jesus. This was a physical healing, but also a spiritual inner healing. Not all physical healings happen when a person comes to the Lord Jesus. Some people are healed and we know that there are those who aren't. But what is important here is that all of us can have a spiritual healing from the dark clouds of despair, loneliness, fear, worry and anxiety and all those issues and all those problems that cause us to feel alone and abandoned. When we put our trust in him, all of that can disappear. Now imagine yourself. Imagine yourself sitting by the roadside feeling cut off from everyone around you. And then you hear that Jesus is coming close and you call out to him and he speaks gently and lovingly to you, saying, what do you want me to do for you? Not tomorrow, not the day after, but what do you want me to do for you right now, right now? And how would you respond? What will you say? Lord Jesus, I want to be free from all that is making me feel so dark, so empty and so alone. Lord Jesus, I want to be healed deep, deep, deep inside of my life, inside of my mind. I want what Bartimaeus received. A whole new way of life. A whole new way of life. I told you about that blind young man that we met in Uganda, East Africa. He was physically blind, but oh, spiritually, he was alive. He knew the Lord Jesus and he preached and he spoke with freedom, with joy, with power and authority about the Lord Jesus who had transformed his life from the inside out. Have faith. Trust that Jesus can bring the gift of new life to you, the new life that you so anxiously, so desperately want and search for. In John's Gospel, chapter 8 and verse 12, we have these wonderful words. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. If you follow me, you won't have to walk in darkness because you will have the light that leads to life. The light, the life, the forgiveness, 
the love and the acceptance of the Lord Jesus. Why? Because he loves and he cares for you. He wants you to come with all your pain, with all your hurts, with your faith, however small and shaky and unsure your faith is. He wants you to come to him, believing and trusting that he can bring the healing, the freedom and his amazing gift of salvation into your life. The call of Bartimaeus to Jesus and the response of Jesus to the call of Bartimaeus teaches us that the way of Jesus is open to everyone who will put their faith and trust in him. I ask you, have you put your faith, your trust, into the Lord Jesus. There is a hymn that we all know so well. And as we close this morning, I want to remind you of the first verse of the hymn that we have, that we have sung or will sing in a few moments. It was written by a man who lived a terrible, terrible life. A man who treated slaves from Africa in, a, in an appalling way. His name was John Newton, a man who was cruel, a man who was thoroughly evil. But one day, he gave his life to Jesus. He became free from spiritual blindness, from spiritual darkness. Jesus became his Lord and Saviour. And so he wrote, Amazing grace, how sweet the sound, that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now am found, was blind, was blind, but now I see. John Newton said when he became a minister of the gospel in the Anglican Church back in England so many, many, many years ago, this I know, I was a terrible sinner, but I now have a wonderful saviour. Bartimaeus, he came to know the Lord Jesus as his wonderful saviour. People all over the world know the Lord Jesus as their saviour. People in the north, across the great north land, know Jesus as their saviour. The question is, do you know him? as your Lord and Saviour. Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost, but now I'm found, was blind, but now I see. Will you make these words a prayer? And in doing so, know the healing power, the healing touch, the healing love of Jesus flow into your life through the power of his Holy Spirit. Amen. Oh, oh.
Kenga Gluta Kulani 92. O Artenek, Tugiak Vigigi Giptigin, Monaki Himoko Blutin, Inukting Nik, Opang Nengmi, Oper Katigin, Negu Glutik, Kilam Ikeong Ninganik, Amegiao Koblugit Ilingmin, Jesus Christ Ikon. Amen. O God, Okulani thirty eight, Inuk Tukupan, O God, Atanio Yutin, Inuhimo Yunun, Tokuhimo Yunudlo Tamainun, Kengayuma Lactugut Ilingnun, Una Gari Tukoman, Anagia Kami Tafuma Kimoktapti Gut, Tunia Bluni Ilingnun, Tokia Vigigi Giptigin, Ileoktun Piblugit, Ikayuktau Kublugit, Ilingnin, Anokhokti Tau Lutik, Omati Mingni, Okpeg Lutik, Okpektun, Makijutainik, Inuit, Okpegapajavun, Ilingnun, Engni Jesus Christ, Kangagaluk, Makit Pangman, Tukunga Yunin, Taima Tauk, Uvagut, Okpagupta, Taja, Inobluta, Uvagut Tauk, Tukukaluta, Makit Ti Haungo Yugut, Neukasau Kubluta, Ilingni, Kilangmi, Nunga Amen. Amen. Kulani 39. Koyahongek. Ayu hai tutin god angutik put nagli tak tutin ilvin kivga kivga kivgagapti koigi yipti gin nagut pia gavin uvaptin nun inung nudlo tamainun koyagi gipti gin ilipkun hanuyao himarapta mulahayab lutala nagoyumik tunivio rapta inujuti kaptin nik Ahin nogugi gipti gin ilvin, nagligi varapkin inuit ingilgat tilivaran eniktuan, Jesus tafuma tukujo tigi kubluta, anajau kubluta, wanaku tip tingning tafamuna. Ahin nagyo kubluta inohangmik, nungo laitumik kilangmi, tadja kengak to good koria kutin, mihinak pior kublugo oma tip tingni, Koyagi kublu tiglo ino hiptigon tuni bluta ilingnon. Kivgap tujigi kubluta ilingnik. A hintauk nunami ino hiki kubluta ilomo tomik. Ino bluta tukonyago tip tingnon. Amen. O God our Father, we pray today for those who are broken with loneliness. We pray for those who struggle with anxiety, fear and worry. We pray for those who struggle to overcome addictions, that in their pain and in their hurt, they may be like Bartimaeus and cry out, Jesus, Son of God, please help me. And may they hear that gentle voice of Jesus through the Holy Spirit saying, Come to me. What can I do for you? And we know, Lord Jesus, as Bartimaeus said, I want to see. May people just have the courage and the confidence to say, I need your healing. I need your forgiveness. I need your love. I need your joy in my life, Lord Jesus. I commit my life to you now. I don't understand all there is to know about your life. When I read the Bible, sometimes I'm confused because I don't understand what I'm reading. Lord Jesus, people need to just come and to open their lives to you and through your Holy Spirit, you bring new life. You give understanding as people read your word prayerfully. Lord Jesus, we pray for those who are sick, for those who are hurting, for those who are sad because 
Someone they love has died and we commit to you today, Lord Jesus, Jack and Martha and all their family as they mourn the death of Gary. May the family know your peace, which passes all our understanding in every area of their lives. We pray for the people of Kugluktuk. We pray for those who know you and love you, that they will have the courage and the confidence and the joy to reach out to those who are hurting, to those who are lonely and sad. And all we pray for a mighty outflow of your Holy Spirit upon that community today. We pray, Lord, for the people of Olohaktuk, the people of Cambridge Bay. Oh, we pray for the gospel as it is proclaimed across the great North Land. We ask your blessing upon uh, Bishop David. We pray for the anointing of your Holy Spirit to be upon him, upon Bishop Joey, Bishop Annie and Bishop Lucy, upon their families and their friends, for all the ministers in the North, that as they speak today of you and of your life and of all that you are and of all that you want to do in people's lives, there will be an openness to receive your risen life through your Holy Spirit, Lord Jesus. And so, as we come to a close in our worship, we do so with thankful hearts for family and friends for food and clothing, for the roofs over our heads, and for all who work to make our lives so, so much better. We thank you, Lord Jesus. In your wonderful name we pray. Amen.
Godim, Nagoak Kutata, Aktilang Night to Galawak, Managi Lugit, O Matihi, Ihu Hamu, Ihu Mahilo, Jesus Sim, Ilihimaningagun, Kovia Kota Goodlo, Godim Ayokhaitum, Angu Tipta, Aningata, Anengnim Nagoyum, Nagogok Tininga, Ilitfingi Himali, Taimunga, Amen. And the peace of God, which passes all understanding, keep your hearts and minds in the knowledge and love of God and of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be amongst you and remain with you always. Amen.